Uh, today I have Carly Ann Forthen, who is a dance major. She's graduating this year, and she has a minor in kinesiology. Okay, so you um, you came here from the States. Where did you come from? Washington State. Okay, so it wasn't that far away, but still it must have been a... Um, wh why did you... Why, why would you move countries? Why would you come to Vancouver for this program? There was a couple different reasons. I wanted to be close enough to home that I could drive home, but far enough away that I felt like I could spread my wings. Um, the Olympics were coming, my graduating year, 2010. Even though this is my graduating year, but at the time I was planning that. Um, I love the ocean. It's beautiful. When I came up to audition, I was like, okay, this is a beautiful city. And I wanted to be in a large city because of the dance community. So, um, and I like the idea of a challenge of um, trying out a new country. So you're studying dance and, and kinesiology, mm -hmm. and, and you two were just telling me about an injury. Uh, if you feel comfortable talking about those two things seem to come together in real life for you. Oh, yeah. Um, I, well, I took a sports medicine injury prevention class my third year at university, and um, I was also experiencing, I, we had this really rigorous performance, and I think I rolled my ankles like four times, and it was like the shoes I was wearing, and it, um, I knew how to rehab from an injury, but in this sense, I really needed to, like, while you're performing, you can't stop for an injury unless you absolutely have to stop. So um, I was able to pair what I learned with my, my sports injury class into my ability to perform and that really helped me a lot. I actually, the information I've learned from that class I've been able to help fellow dancers with too. Um, as far as like, you know, if they, I'm, I'm kind of become a resource for them in that mm -hmm. sense. So you're not just, um, you're not just dancing when you finish this program, you, you can also have your own, own practice in terms of, of choreographing, starting your own projects. Can you talk uh -huh. a bit more about that? Sure. Um, there's a lot of great festivals that happen, especially in the Pacific Northwest that I'm aware of. Uh, that's really the community I've been in my entire life. Um, a couple years ago, actually, a fellow dancer, Tess Forrester, and I, we entered into the On the Boards 12 Minutes Max in Seattle, and we actually got that position, and we were able to perform internationally for us. And um, it was a really great experience. So, and it was our own choreography and our own costumes, everything was us. Uh, and that was really great to do while we were in university. And it was a kind of a stepping off point. And there's that same festival here in Vancouver, 12 Minutes Max, where you enter your own uh, choreography and there's it's an audition process. And if you're in it, you great for the resume. There's also Dancing on the Edge. There's a lot of festivals in Vancouver, Seattle area, and Portland, all around that you can enter your choreography into, get your name out there. And all it takes is just being brave enough to audition and really have, you know, be behind your choreography or working with a choreographer that's willing to do that. So. Yeah, Colin Brown is a film prof, and, and he says that our school makes students that don't sit by the phone waiting for it to ring. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't sound like you're just sitting waiting for it to ring. No, and I feel like that would be really stressful for me if I were. <laughs> um, and it's more fun this way, so. <laughs> now, I think you may have brought some videos. I do have the piece I was telling you about from On the Boards, the duet, um, and it's Film in Seattle with uh, Tessa Forrester and myself in our collaboration duet called uh, Noche T Ipsum.
Uh, do you have any thoughts for, uh, for future students who are coming here? Um, if further thoughts, I would have to say, come here for the right reasons. Um, it's a great school. Professors are very supportive, and they're with you for the full four years. They, I really know that the profs know who I am as a dancer and as a person. And they're great resources. Um, come audition. Experience this school. You'll know when you're there. I auditioned with several universities, both here and in the States. And while I had great opportunities at this school, this one just felt like the right one for me. So make sure that you're choosing the right university because you're there for the next four or five, six years, and you've got to be comfortable in order to learn the best that you can and excel at the best you can. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Today I have a Car Car uh, Today I have Car Carly Ann. Carly Ann. I, I can do it without, you know. No today, uh, today I have Carly Ann Fortune, no who is a dance major. She's graduated. How do you move on this stuff? You run, you dance. <laughs>